What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. The big day is here. I finally got the PS4, PS4 Pro console and I'm actually pretty excited about this thing. So we're gonna do a little unboxing here uh, and I'm really excited to start playing it. So this is gonna be a real quick unboxing. We're gonna see what's in the box. We're gonna also compare it size-wise to the old PS4. Uh, so let's just jump into it here. Uh, first things first, we gotta undo some of this tape. Let's see here. There we go. Get the box open and see what we got. Oh, we ripped the box already. All right, we got some quick start guide. Got a box full of accessories, it looks like, and the PS4 is probably right here. Get rid of that. Oops, something fell. All right, so here is the beast. And, uh, whoo, it's pretty good looking. Not too shabby looking. Definitely looks somewhat hamburger-ish, sort of like a Big Mac. Uh, it's not as ugly as it looks in pictures, though. You see the ports back there, kind of, maybe-ish. Everything's all black back there. One of my complaints about the PS4, and now the PS4 Pro, is that because there's an overhang over where your ports go, it's really hard to reach back there and plug stuff in. I'm always having to turn it around so I can see the ports, as opposed to just being able to kind of plug stuff in by looking over the top. All right, so let's put this down. Let's see what else is in here. All right, we got stuff falling out of the box already. The new controller, I'm actually pretty happy about. Um, not much has changed with this new controller, except for the fact that you can now plug it in via USB, and uh, the transfer, the, the actual data transfer from controller to PS4 happens over USB. Uh, which the old PS4 controllers were not capable of. Uh, they always worked wirelessly, and I ran into wireless connection issues on occasion. Sometimes my controller would just freak out while I was playing. Thumbsticks feel good. It's definitely a uh, harder material than it used to be, so hopefully they are more durable. Uh, and hopefully the triggers are a little bit more durable as well. We got a cord. This is a much beefier cord uh, than the old one. You can see that there. Uh, what else we got here? We got an HDMI cable. Standard HDMI cable. This is probably an HDMI 2 or 2.1 cable so that it can uh, transfer 4K signals. We got that really shitty PS4 microphone. What is this? This looks like a controller charger. Charging cable, USB charging cable. And that's really about it. That's all that comes in the box. I'm really excited to uh, start actually using this thing. You can see there are physical buttons now instead of the old capacitive ones, uh, which I like a lot better. I'd never really enjoyed those capacitive buttons too much. Uh, so it'll be fun. I also, that's pretty cool. This is kind of like a reflective, it's pretty nice looking. It's actually better looking than I thought it was. In the pictures, it looked very plain and vanilla. So it's a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger than the old one. Uh, it feels a little heavier too. It's a little bit bigger that way as well. Uh, it looks about the same height. If it's different height wise, it's negligible. Uh, it's definitely a big boy. It's not quite as big as the Xbox One, I don't think, but it's not a small one by any means. Uh, for those wondering, I know that uh, some people are disappointed that the Slim doesn't have an optical out. This one does have an optical out. So Astro users, you're gonna be happy about that. We got a USB on the back too, so VR users, you're gonna be happy about that. And of course, a networking slot and uh, an auxiliary port for the PlayStation Eye. Not too bad. I'm looking forward to playing some games on it. Uh, I'll be streaming later and uh, we can check them out together. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.